Well, I begin to work with a subject. I uh, have nothing to work with, and therefore the production is uh, one which I structure gradually. Uh, the most important aspect in such a psychodramatic presentation are production techniques. Now, for instance, if I may invite you up, Sue, what is it come up for a moment? I'd like to demonstrate with you how such production techniques are used. Now, in general, Sue, there are three types of production techniques which I'd like to demonstrate in this lesson. So one is the technique of representation. The second is the technique of reversal. The third is a double technique. Let's start with the first one, the technique of representation. For instance, you, Sue, uh, uh, to give you an illustration, you are from... Uh, from. Uh, Terry Town. Terry Town. Uh, I would like, for instance, to meet your mother. Right? Your mother isn't here. No, right? she isn't. Now, and she couldn't come. We have, therefore, to portray her by means of, an, of someone who is particularly trained to take such roles. Now, these people are called auxiliary egos, as you know, and we have here a number. Now, I would like, for instance, Zerka to come up and to portray uh, the role of your mother. Now, uh, in such a case, uh, she will be, uh, 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 here is Zerka, uh, and, um, and we will, you being the uh, resource person, you will inform her what kind of a person she is and what kind of a relationship probably you at the present time which you would like to, which might require portrayal on the stage, right? And uh, then, of course, we will proceed from then on. She'll be your mother, and you will be yourself. The only thing is, Doctor, there isn't too much of a conflict situation with my mother. Well, I that is not. No. Well, uh, we can imagine, you all can imagine that, how such a technique of presentation can be done. So let's move now, uh, thank you so much, Erka, uh, and we move now to a second technique, which I discussed before. It is a technique of reverse. Now, with whom do you have a problem? <laughs> My mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law? Oh, I see. Well, I'll tell you something. I'll invite another auxiliary ego up. It is Jana. Now, Jana, if you come up here, and um, you see, in, a, in the role, in the reversal technique, uh, you'll take the part of that person whom, with whom you have conflicts. That is your mother-in-law. And she'll take your part, right? And now you structure with her a situation we would like to see with your mother-in-law, and she taking as well. She takes the part of Sue. All right, go ahead. Well... Usually she comes over at night when I'm washing my hair or something, rings the bell, and I have to go downstairs. Go ahead and see. Let's see what happens. What, what would you do? Well, you'd be coming down the stairs, and uh, I'd be standing there waiting, usually tearful. And uh, uh -huh. so you'd say, hello, Mrs. Russell. Mrs. Russell is here. And I'm so. Hello, Mrs. Russell. Oh, Sue, I don't know what to do. I've been having a terrible day. Is Norman home? Oh, yes, he's upstairs. You come on up. Boy. Well, you he's know I can't happy. walk all those flights up. Would you tell him to come down? I just have to talk to him. The most terrible things have happened to me, and, and I just don't know what to do. And the doctors say I have to be operated on. And, and that woman was so mean to me again. And you know how she acts. She just goes, she, she, can't she kicked right me, and she, and she threatened to throw me out the door. Now, please, now you reverse roles. And now you are Sue, and she is now Mrs. Russell. Oh, I just don't know what to do, Sue. Oh, I, I want right, to see right. Russ. Te won't you tell Russ right, to come down? Please, now, you know that, and I'll have him come over and see you. Oh, but he isn't in class. I That's all right. Now, so that is about an illustration of how reversal technique runs. Thank you, Jana. You understand, Sue, and you understand all that is about how it, how it, how it operates. Now, it has a very great therapeutic value because uh, one person can move from herself into the other person's situation and learn in action of what is going on in her own mind. And so she lives in two persons simultaneously, so to speak. And so, let's go now, Sue, to the third technique. That is, uh, and you all, uh, please uh, look carefully at Sue. Uh, we will go now into the double technique. Now, um, Everyone, as it is visualized in mythology, we all have a person uh, who is uh, uh, a double of ourselves. That is at least how it is visualized by, uh, by the mystics and by folklore of all uh, uh, peoples on earth. And now, let us imagine that you'll come home, right, at one evening, and you'll find yourself... Zerka, will you please take the part of the double? And you'll find that you... There are two shoes in your uh, living room, let us say. And now, uh, you, of course, as your regular doubles, you will uh, move the same way, you will talk the same way, you will feel the same way, and you will uh, compl compliment yourself. It 
She will give you a great deal of strength by having one like you in social space. Go ahead and try to work it out that way. Oh dear, I suppose I was very nice to Russ's mother. Well, I try to be nice. Well, I know, but I don't seem to succeed very well. She gets so upset and she unnerves me. She makes me feel so, I don't know, so fidgety. Well, I used to be able to get along with her all right, but I, I guess as I got a little more neurotic myself, <laughs> I found that she was Now, there you are, girls. Me. Let us imagine now that you will continue to show the double technique in all phases of your uh, uh, mutual existence. And now, I would like to explain to all of you what this double technique means psychodramatically and therapeutically. You see, um, I, the, best, have, the best illustration is, if, I, if you recall, the great French novelist, Guy de Maupassant, one day, when he came home, he saw himself sitting at his desk, writing a manuscript. That was the beginning of his psychosis. That was an uncontrolled double, one who hallucinated himself from his own mind and was there in space. That we are projecting the double uh, voluntarily upon the stage, giving you a double so that you may learn and maintain control of your own mind. The controlled situation which the double portrays from the depths of your psyche so is what we are giving to all these people who are suffering from psychotic experiences. You understand? Yes. 